Greetings from Sunday Victoria. Garnet Schulhauser here. For those of you who don't know me, I'm the author of five books in the spiritual genre, and all of my books deal with my dialogue and astral travels with my spirit guide, Albert, who confronted me on the street one day many years ago, disguised as a homeless man. You can find out more about my books on my website, which is garnetschulhauser.com. Now with Albert as my tour guide, I got to see many different places in our universe, uh, including places in the spirit side where I was able to talk to a number of uh, souls who had once walked the earth and who had words of wisdom for me and for all humanity, which I uh, often would put into my books. Now the spirit side, of course, is our true home. That's where we all came from and that's where we'll all return when our physical bodies die. So the spirit side is, is really the, the, the place where the cycle of reincarnation begins. And when we're souls on the spirit side, we make the choice to decide to incarnate into a physical life form on planet Earth as a human, or perhaps uh, as another life form on a different planet. It's solely up to us. But the good news is that no matter what happens to us during our physical incarnations, we always return back to the spirit side, regardless of what we did during our lives on the physical plane. Now today I'd like to reveal what I learned on my uh, astral trips to the spirit side about why lies and deception are not possible in the spirit realm. Now speaking from a human living on earth in this day and age, uh, I am sometimes absolutely overwhelmed by all the information available to us um, on the internet, on TV, books, periodicals, podcasts, whatever. And the trouble is, of course, is that it's not only true information, but there's a lot of misinformation, a lot of lies, a lot of deception, a lot of gaslighting that is, uh, we are bombarded with. And it really is difficult for us at times to discern uh, the truth from the lies. There's no easy answer to figure out uh, how to discern uh, truth from falsehoods on our planet. But the good news is, for those of you who may be wondering, is that uh, lies and deception are not possible on the spirit realm. So when you return to the spirit realm after your physical bodies die, you will find that there is nothing there but unconditional love. And unconditional love does not permit any deception, lies, or falsehoods. It's just not possible. It's, it's, it's uh, when you unconditionally love other people, you are totally frank with them, totally honest, and you cannot in any way deceive them. So lies and deception do not exist in the spirit realm, first of all, because no soul returning to the spirit realm and being immersed in unconditional love has any desire in the least to try to deceive anyone else. If you unconditionally love someone, uh, deceiving them is just not on the table. And so that's the first reason that there are no lies or deception in the spirit realm. The second reason is that even if somebody did try to deceive others in the spirit realm, it's not possible because everything there is totally transparent. You cannot hide anything that you did on earth to the people on the spirit realm when you return. It's all open, it's all evident to everyone what you did with your life and deception is just not possible. Now the Akashic records, which as most of you know, contain the records of every life that has ever lived anywhere in the universe, uh, are available to any soul over there, and you can go to the Akashic Records to view all of your previous lives, whether it be on planet Earth or on another planet. You can also view the life of anyone else who has lived anywhere on Earth or on another planet uh, to view their lives, and you don't need anyone's permission to do so. So if someone were to return uh, from planet Earth as a human to the spirit side and try to deceive people about what they did or did not do during their life on Earth, that just isn't possible because anyone can go to the Akashic Records and get the true uh, detail of their lives. So if someone was abusive in their life on Earth, they can't go back to the spirit side and try to pretend that they were uh, a model citizen who did no harm because that, that just uh, doesn't work. Everyone can see the truth and so there'd be no point in doing it even if you wanted to. So while some people on earth will try to deceive and snow other people about uh, their true character, about what they've done or haven't done, um, and they can get away with it often on planet earth, 
on the spirit side, that just doesn't work. And, and the truth would be available to everyone. And so there's no deception, no lies, no falsehood, no gaslighting on the spirit side, which is really quite refreshing when you think of it, because we get so much of that here on planet Earth. So I wish that there was some magic bullet on planet Earth that would allow us to uh, peer through all the lies and deception that we are bombarded with at, to find the truth. That would be very gratifying, but unfortunately I don't see that anywhere on the horizon. It's just in the nature of humans to try to deceive other humans to make themselves feel like they're better than they are or that they haven't done anything wrong. And this happens all too frequently on our planet. So in the meantime, we have to suffer through it on planet Earth, but rest assured that when you return to the spirit side, when your physical body dies, uh, all the deception and lies and falsehoods will not survive. They don't exist there, and you'll get only the pure, unvarnished truth. So that's the startling revelation for today. If you enjoyed this YouTube video, please subscribe to my channel. And in the meantime, please enjoy the rest of your journey. And above all, remember to keep on dancing.